Thanks for checking out my updated stand store review. Here I'm going to be going over some of the biggest features that they have and even showcasing just how quickly you can get up and running when it comes to selling your digital products thanks to this link in bio software. Before we begin, if you'd like to at least test them out and follow along, you can click the link in the description or pinned comment to try them for free. Let's begin. So I remember my first stand store impressions and I love the simplicity and cleanliness of their overall interface. It's fantastic to use, it's very straightforward, pretty easy, and I don't use that word all too often. But compared to so many other platforms, it is not gonna take you very long at all to get up and running, and I'll even show you in this demo. Let's say we wanted to add a product. Let's click right here. And with Stand Store, I know you might be wanting to sell digital products that is quite the popular feature. You can also collect emails, do coaching calls, create custom products, e-courses, recurring memberships, webinars, communities, you can use URLs, and of course add your own affiliate link for Stand Store. Nevertheless, let's click on digital product right here. And no joke, if you wanted to get up and running within maybe five to 10 minutes, you can certainly do that. Yeah, you're gonna have to connect your payment processor, which isn't gonna take very long at all, but allow me to show you how it works. If you can follow the steps on the page here and simply enter in what needs to go in the specific spots, you're gonna be up and running very quickly. You can pick your style, whether it's button, call out, or preview. I happen to like call out right here. Select your image, which I'm not gonna focus on a lot of the aesthetics here. Then we have our title, our subtitle, and our button. Let's change that very quickly. All right, so get my Marketing Island ebook. Let's say this was the example. It'll be delivered to their inbox. It's good to let them know that. And the button text right here, as you can see on the right, click to continue. We're almost done. We have probably one and a half more steps. All right, and once again, if you wanted to add a logo or ebook cover right there, you can certainly do that. And as you can see, anytime you edit anything right here, it's gonna show up on the right side. They even give you a description body that you can use. So you can simply just kind of replace this. This ebook will teach you how to say, navigate through social media to help you get traffic, leads, and sales around the clock. Then it will show you even more. What are some bullet points and what you're gonna be showcasing? However, generating with AI is actually pretty good. Let me show you how this works specifically. So upon clicking, it says generate with AI. Briefly describe your product and what makes it special to your audience. So if you can answer this, probably you're gonna most likely have all of this done for you, which is a testament to their speed and simplicity. I'm gonna do that very quickly. All right, so with my example here in the ebook, you can get traffic leads and sales around the clock thanks to leveraging social media and organic traffic. You also see how to build your list and automate emails. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's click on generate. All right, so giving a quick overview of what you're gonna discover, strategies for generating traffic, lead generation, sales optimization, social media mastery, list building strategies, uh, why it's your ticket to online success, pretty much getting your copy now. Testimonials, if you're brand new and you don't have any, you can always just erase that part. But if you wanted to use this, just simply click on replace, and just like that, you have your pretty much your description good to go. You can delete some things, make some changes, but I like this AI. It's actually pretty good as long as you're specific with what you're gonna be doing, the benefits, and who it's going to be for. So once again, pretty fast paced there. All right, so we have a bottom title that you can change around, get my guide and purchase. I'm gonna keep that as it is. Now, a cool thing here when it comes to price, let's say this was $19.99, you can set discount prices so that say it looks like it's gonna be 50% off. You're gonna see that's going to change, but if you look up right here, it's gonna show the strike off, so a 50% discount, so you can do that if needed. Last but not least on the bottom here is gonna be collecting info and of course, uploading your digital product. If you have the ebook, you can simply just upload it right here. If you wanna redirect to a URL, you can certainly do that. It could be on your website, or if you wanna use something for free, Google Drive can work, Dropbox as an example. All right, so as an example, we have the Dropbox, we have the file, just using that as an example, and we have the name of it, we can do save as draft. And there's really only one more step that if you wanna edit it, you can go to options right here. All right, and if we go back into our section with the options and we scroll down, you're gonna see there's a confirmation email right here. Now, all this is gonna be auto-populated. We have our name, our customer name, excuse me, the product name, Marketing Island eBook, and the product files which we uploaded with, it was Dropbox in this example, and it would have the name right here. So they purchase automatically, they get sent this, they can click there, download it, access it, and it is very easy to do. As you're gonna see, that was not a very long process. Yes, you're just gonna have to connect Stripe or Pay PayPal, that's gonna take a few minutes, but aside from that, getting up and running is very, very easy to do. All right, so we are back in the store, and as you can see, anytime you create something and you probably wanna get the most clicks to it, you can very easily toggle it between up and down. It's really gonna be up to you where you want it to go. 
And speaking of products overall, like I said, there's a wide selection of things that you can do with Stand Store. I do wanna highlight their community very quickly. Let's click on add product. And so yes, if you're gonna be selling digital products, you're probably curious about being able to create e-courses and communities. Let me showcase those very quickly. So I'm gonna click on the community and you'll notice very quickly that the process is going to be very similar. We have like the title of joining the community. We have a price, we can go to the checkout page. And once again, we have our image, we have our description body, which we can generate with AI. We have our price, collecting info, and of course we have our community overall. Let's go take a look at it very quickly. So here's gonna be a mock one that I created. I'm gonna open it up for you. And this is an example of a community where I put a joke from Home Alone 2. If you've seen it, you know the movie quote, but nevertheless, this is an idea of what it's going to look like where you can have a banner up at top. This is gonna be the specific section where people can write something. You have your specific topics that it can be related to. And of course, there's gonna be some extra sections where you can add about upcoming webinars if you wanna go that route. And of course, helpful links that it's kind of like having a pinned comment there. Aside from that, it'll be right here in case you wanna share anything. Maybe it's gonna be a bonus, maybe it could be an opt-in. Anything that you wanna put here that can be handy or helpful is gonna be where your community goes. So overall, their community is kind of basic in my opinion, but it certainly gets the job done and can be a lot better than some of the alternatives, say like Facebook, where they get all these distracted ads Sometimes it could be ads from your competitors, it could be viral memes, cat pictures, baby pictures, whatever it's going to be. There's just so many distractions on Facebook and a lot of the other social media platforms that it's at least nice that Stand Store features a community that you can use and leverage when also selling your courses. We talked about creating e-courses and digital products, and of course, yes, you can create, host, and sell them with Stand Store. Once again, are you familiar with this process? Thumbnail, checkout page, and the main thing is gonna be here, the course. Let's click here very quickly. All right, and I like the way they actually set this up inside of the stand store section. So we have our course here. This is gonna be where you can edit it if you wanna change around the color and the branding, but adding modules and topics is very easy to do. If you wanna add a main module like this one, you do that, and then you can add lessons for each specific section. When you're done, if you wanna preview it, you can do that just to kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. And this is just going to be an example of what it looks like on desktop. As you saw previously, there's gonna be a mobile version as well, which in my opinion, I think actually looks a whole lot better. But given the fact this is Stand Store and you're probably gonna be doing a lot of selling when it comes to mobile devices, especially on places like TikTok and Instagram, I think it's definitely a solid membership platform, especially when it comes to selling using link and bio. Oh, and yes, of course, you can totally edit the design of your Stand Store. When you're on the main page, you can click on edit design. And the reason I'm showcasing this towards the end is also because I recommend you do this towards the end as well. Ideally, if you don't have anything in your bio, you're not gonna get a great look at what the templates are gonna provide overall. I like kind of the minimal one as you can see here, but if you wanted to change it, you most certainly can. And you can actually see how everything's going to look when the colors change. So ideally here, what you can do is shuffle through these. Like this logo wouldn't work too well when it's supposed to be a longer and taller picture of someone. So you probably wouldn't wanna use that if you have a logo. Those could be changed a little bit differently. Like you might like these, you just need to change around the main colors and the font and you can certainly do that. But as you go through, you're probably gonna find one very quickly that you like. This one's not too bad. I love the simplicity of it. I also like the minimal one too. So, but just shuffling through and going back to where I was, this is gonna be an example of the designs that you can utilize when it comes to changing up and kind of giving your stand store a facelift. All right, so now we move on to the pricing plans when it comes to the stand store overall. We have Creator, which is gonna be $29 a month, and Creator Pro, which is gonna be $99 a month. As you can see, you get a decent amount of nice little features in Creator and Creator Pro when it comes to up on top, mobile optimized Creator Store, unlimited courses, one tap checkout, subscriptions, email list, and newsletter builder. However, I think there's gonna be quite the big gap in terms of jumping from Creator to Creator Pro, especially because you get so many really nice features there. So they really are making it juicy jumping from say Creator to Creator Pro. With this, you get email marketing, you get unlimited funnels, like discount codes and upsell offers. I can see that why that would be there specifically because one, discount codes are a great way to increase sales and upsell offers. Sometimes depending on the price plan that you're selling at, all it takes is one extra upsell to offset the extra $70 that you might be paying per month. So if you're selling like mid ticket and higher ticket products, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with the 99 Creator Pro plan a month. However, if you're selling little $7 eBooks, then Creator might be best for you. Aside from that, you can also offer payment plans. You can have affiliate payments and of course, pixel tracking if you're really big on collecting a lot of data and seeing where you convert the best. 
All right, so with all of that being said, let's wrap up this Stand Store review and answer the question, is Stand Store worth it? After all, that is the golden question, right up there with, do I really need another iced coffee today? So if you enjoy simplicity, speed, and selling digital products without the urge to scream into a pillow, then yes, Stand Store is most certainly worth it. But if you're into clunky dashboards, confusing setups, and spending four hours trying to add a buy button, look elsewhere, Stand Store is not here to complicate your life. It's clean, it's fast, it's basically the digital business equivalent of plug it in and go. And yeah, it looks sleek enough to make your offers feel like they belong on a tech startup's homepage. Feature-wise, this thing's loaded. Whether you're selling digital products, coaching calls, courses, memberships, webinars, or even building your own little community, stands ready to roll. Now, my only gripe here, the price leap from Creator to Creator Pro, it's like going from floaties to deep sea diving, with email automations, discount codes, and affiliate features locked behind the big boy plan. Still, Stansor gets two big thumbs up from me. You can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to try them out for free. Just don't blame me when you start launching faster than your morning coffee hits. I want to say thank you so much for watching my standstill review. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll swing by. My name is James and I hope you enjoy using Standstore as much as I enjoy not dealing with tech headaches.